My name is Helani Sonora Pale, and I welcome you today to Law 2400 and our procession here in Palolo Valley, the beautiful valley of Palolo. We're going to start uh, with Kailana Moeli. Um, she is going to set everything down, set it up um, with and Oli of welcome and aloha. Mahalo. Naika hala meka lehu aye hale lehu ano ya naka no e no ka uno ya e ano ine e ali ane ho iyo kai kimai ai kimai no oko ai kipu no meke aloha aloha e aloha e aloha me. Please join me in invoking the ancestors to our space. Oh, Gino Gilanie, Gino Gagua, Mano Gagua, Gago Iluna, Gago Ilalo, Kelgo Yuka, Kelgo Ikai, Maina Guguro, Kai Gio Inuya, Kelho Inuiko, Liho Ikai Kino Kalapi, in my Iha E Hai. O mala ela e kalani a ike a ke a he a o kama ala malama o mai kala mo ka ike kama vobo ke a kamai o mai ka ike hele ana kana ho ana kaha na ana o maluhia ke ola ana ka imi ana kana we ana ike ola pono i pono mau na kule na pau mai na wele le una kulo nu na kua hivi na kua mau na. My kaulana kalai lehua o i papahana o moku akea. He kai akea nalu nui akea moana nui akea wa ikea hoa ikea la nui o ka i ini kanu ue gulia mauai. O halia gune i leo i da magani nui i da magani igi i da magani hea hea au makua na kea i oku po me kea o. No, can I owe a can I owe ha ha ha? Can I owe pono? Can I owe ma e ma e? Can I owe aloha? Ki aloha o na kupuna. No, luna bau mai gumene nui. E aloha ku, e aloha mai, e aloha nui ho i e ola ho i na me apau. Lele mauli ola, lele wale kui. Ah, mama, one more. Okay. Hello, everyone. Um, again, my name is Helani Sonora Pale. I'm from this Moku. I'm a citizen of Kalahui, Hawaii, which is a native initiative for sovereignty. And I want to first of all bring your attention to the sign behind me the arrest of protectors of Mount Nakia. In 2015, 51 Kia'i were arrested in the protection of Mauna Kea from TMT. In 2019, 38 Kupuna and one Kia'i, Kahookahi, Kanuha, was arrested protecting our Mauna. So I wanted to just share a little bit about that. That is an important message here today and I will explain as well a little later. So here we are again, 
Here we are again. 2,400 days since the first heavy equipment was taken up onto Mauna Kea. That equipment was supposed to have started the construction of TMT. 2,400 days, Kia'i held their ground. They stood, they chanted, they marched, they took it to court, contested cases after contested cases, we stood our ground. Decades of legal litigation, decades in the protection of that mauna. Years and years of direct actions putting our own selves, our own bodies on the line time and time again. Petition after petition, demanding the protection of sacred Mauna Kea, which is home, not just to Akua, but home to rare, threatened and endangered species found nowhere else in the world. It sits on the aquifers that feed the people and the families of Mokunui, of Hawaii Island. Water is life. Hundreds of thousands of our Kia'i supporters here in Kapai Aina o Hawaii and worldwide have signed petitions saying no, a ole to TMT being built on Mauna Kea. Thousands, thousands upon thousands have testified at hundreds of hearings saying no, a ole to TMT on Mauna Kea, on our sacred mountain, which is the pico of our culture and the center. And here we are again. Here we are again. It's October 19th, 2021, Law 2400. 2400 days ago, large equipment was taken up to Mauna Kea to build TMT. And has it been built? Aole. It hasn't been built. We, us, Kanaka, the Lahui, the people, we have the mana to stop a multi-billion dollar corporation from building an 18-story telescope on top of our mauna. And today we are here in Pololo. Everybody's wondering, why are we here in Pololo? <laughs> because of the University of Hawaii. That's why we're here in Palolo. The University of Hawaii currently holds the lease for Mauna Kea, for the summits of Mauna Kea. It expires in 12 years. In September, they released their master quote unquote plan for the next 20 years for Mauna Kea. And guess what's included in that plan? TMT! Have they not heard us? Are we invisible? Do our voices not matter? Because that's what it seems to be. That seems to be the situation here. That's why we're in Pololo. Because someone who has the power to stop it lives here. His name is David Lasner. He is the president of the University of Hawaii. And we, in Kapu Aloha, with Kapu Aloha, because that's how we were taught to stand by the Kia'i up on Mauna Kea, to stand with Aloha and with Kapu Aloha, we are going to 
take our procession in honor of Mauna Kea and to honor the coming of the Makahiki to his neighborhood today because they're not listening. We are invisible. 51 arrests in 2015. 51 people got arrested stopping Mauna Kea, stopping the TMT being, being built on Mauna Kea. 38 respected kupuna. We all remember that day. Arrested like criminals for protecting what is sacred. And they still haven't heard us. So that's just a, an explanation of why we're here today. Um, we have one more speaker coming up. Is Candace here? Is Candace? Okay, great. Um, last thing I want to say, we still here. We are still standing. And we won't stop. Today, we're going to be singing and practicing Kuha Aheo, preparing for the time when we go back on the Mauna, when it becomes necessary for us to go back on the Mauna and put ourselves on the line again. So this is a nice practice for us. Anyway, so I want to introduce Dr. Candice Fujikani. She works, guess where? The University of Hawaii. She's a professor of at the English department, and uh, she just wrote a book, uh, Mapping Abundance, awesome book. And she's stood up, she stood with us on Mauna Kea for many, many weeks. So mahalo, thank you. Thank you, Candice, for coming. Mahalo, Eleni. So aloha, my kako. Good to see all of you over here. It's uh, for me, there's so much kaumaha being here to stand against the university's president. This is our university, right? University of Hawaii is our university. And how can the administration stand against students and faculty? They make decisions without consulting us. So I grew up on Maui. I went to Baldwin High School, class of 85. <laughs> Go Bears! Uh, and I went to the University of Hawaii for my BA and I went to Berkeley for my PhD. And when I came home, it's just astonishing to see how often the university is on the wrong side of justice. When I was an undergraduate, the university had investments in South Africa, in apartheid, in racism, in genocide. They had investment, so there was a movement when I was an undergraduate for the university to divest from apartheid in South Africa. And then we see the university blocking any kind of movement towards Hawaiian independence. Yeah? The way that they... How long did it take to get a Center for Hawaiian Studies on the University of Hawaii campus? How many years was that? I think it was, what, 1998? 1901 was the university founded. 1998, 97 years, almost 100 years to establish a Center for Hawaiian Studies at the University of Hawaii. How shameful is that? In the English department, how long did it take them to hire someone who's specializing in Hawaiian literature in Olelo, Hawaii? I think... Kualoha Ho'omanawa Nui was hired in 2005. That's over 100 years to hire someone to teach Hawaiian literature in the English department where I teach at the University of Hawaii. So I've been standing for Mauna Kea since 2011. I went to the first contested case hearing. I was um, a member of Kahea, the Hawaiian Environmental Alliance. And I thought that there would be a lot of people standing there because I know everybody loves Mauna Kea. 
But the thing is that the university has money and resources and they drag these struggles out for a long time. They hold meetings when people are at work so that they cannot come to these meetings. They put, who's on the front lines protecting Mauna Kea? Students and assistant professors, lecturers, who are the most vulnerable in the university system. They are the most vulnerable people standing on the front lines to protect Mauna Kea. Why is that? Okay, in the university system, if you're gonna do research, you have to get your project approved by the Institutional Review Board, the IRB, okay? And that is to make sure that you don't hurt your subjects. So how come they have that standard for English professors and history professors, American studies professors, political science professors, but not for astronomy professors? How come astronomy professors are conducting their research at the expense of the most vulnerable people at the university? How many arrests on Mauna Kea? Who can justify research at the human expense of these arrests? This kind of trauma, yeah, this kind of kaumaha is intergenerational. So when you listen to Mehana Kihoi talk about how is anybody going to compensate her for the pain and suffering and trauma her daughter experienced when she saw her mother being arrested on Mauna Kea when she was in ceremony. So the university says, oh, we cannot measure pain and suffering. So does that make it acceptable for them to do this kind of research? The highest ethical standard for research is the Hippocratic Oath that says, do no harm. Primum no rosere. That means do no harm. Your research should not harm anyone. Is that research for the TMT so important that you're going to pass on this kind of intergenerational trauma to our children? How shameful is that kind of research? And I think professors should be on the front lines at Mauna Kea because we're the ones who are getting paid by the university, by the students. You guys pay our salaries. And those of us who can afford to get arrested should be standing on the front lines, holding space so that students don't have to get arrested. So I did go to Mauna Kea when the kahea went out. June 12th, the kahea went out. My brother and I, we flew to Hawaii Island and we stayed on the Mauna for two weeks because P.E. Kea Keawekane Stafford, she was nice enough to let us sleep in her truck. So we slept in her truck for two days and then I set up my camp and I was up there for my, my tent and I was up there for two weeks. But it was amazing to see that. And what you realize when you're there is that the state has no jurisdiction on Mauna Kea. The University of Hawaii has no jurisdiction on Mauna Kea. The university should not be working towards any kind of management plan for the Mauna. They cannot have a vision for Mauna Kea because that's not their kuleana. So kuleana is something that is given to you. You are entrusted with because you've proven that you can take care of something. The university has failed that again and again, even through external state ethics reviews, right? Marion Higa did a review of the university's management of the Mauna and twice found them failing at that responsibility. Okay, so those are the two important things um, I wanted to get across. Um, how much time do I have? Because I can talk forever up here. <laughs> Couple more minutes. Okay, so um, David Lasner has said, he cannot say the word sacred in the same sentence with Mauna Kea. Why is that? Why is that so hard for you? What kind of failure do you have as a human being to be able to believe in the sacred? That is not about being objective 
Research is never objective. Research is always driven by some kind of interest. Now that interest can be to protect your community, but that interest can also be to exploit a community, which is the case for the TMT, because they got what? 60,000 signatures on the petition against the TMT? 500,000 on the new petition. 500,000, hundreds of thousands of people against the TMT. So the sacred is that which we honor, right? Without the sacred, without our ability to honor these things, the elements, the akua, who are the elemental forms, if we cannot honor them, we have no future because we have no water, we have nothing. Aloha is be based on that love for the akua because we know that the akua have raised us, even though like, I'm not Kanaka, I'm not Kanaka Maoli, but still, I have been raised by the ua of Kaniko'o, that is my ua. I've been raised by the kai of Heeya. I have been raised by the vai of Heeya, the Heeya stream. Those are the things that raise me. My mauna is maunawa kea, but also kea hia kahoi. Those are the elements that make sure that I'm healthy. So I have that kuleana and everybody in Hawaii has that kuleana to take care of their akua. Yeah. Okay, so it's hard. It's hard. It's, it's to me, it wears us down when we have to stand against our own university. But I want to end by saying, With joy, we stand the, with the privilege of protecting the mauna. That's what poor case reminds us. When we sing malana maikahu, malana maikahu, the line in there is akue. We rejoice in standing for these things that we believe in, for standing for the sacred, for standing for Mauna Awakea. So we're going to do this, and we're going to pass on to our children that joy, that excitement, that activation. The word for activation, inana, I think is the word. Inana, ho. Ho'o inana, or to activate. We're activating ourselves to protect the mauna. So, mahalo. Hello, everyone. Mahalo, Candice. That was awesome. Thank you. Um, and I, I also work at the University of Hawaii. Um, Yesterday, I did receive an email. <laughs> so from September, what was it, 12th, when they released the master plan. So yesterday afternoon, I got an email asking for my manao on the master plan. How long did that take? Over a month. Um, me, myself and a, I think a couple others were asked, finally, what we think. Really? Okay. But um, thank you, Candice, for that. Um, I wanted to just share, please make a sign if you need a sign on those tables. And then I'm going to have um, Mahina come up, just say a few words on behalf of Huyo Um They have also been standing for Mauna Kea very strongly. Mahalo, Mahina. She came all the way from North Shore. Aloha mai kako. After those two powerful and beautiful speeches, I'm just going to keep mine really short. Um, yes, wahewa uh, mayao, and on behalf of the Hui Ohe and Nalu and the Hui organization, we stand with our kanaka, now and forever, mawa mawa mau. And on this beautiful day, we're going to wake up Palolo and let him know we're here. Eo? Eo. Kukia imauna. Hello, Mahina. 
Um, so, and then the other thing too is we do have words for Kuha Ahel. Next, we're going to have, of course, our um, beloved Kumu, Hinale Moana Wong, um, come up here and um, just have us start practicing or practice, a, you know, go through the song Kuha Ahel, uh, which we'll, we will be singing. Hopefully, everybody will know all verses by the end of the procession. Um, the procession is a mile one way, a mile back. Uh, we do have the University of Hawaii a Manoa student. He's a Hawaiian studies undergraduate student, Kaua Moses, who will be um, sharing some words and mana'o that he has for the president of the college that he attends. So I'm gonna welcome Kumu Hina Le Moana. Wong, mahalo. Kalu Wong. Can I take this? Oh, I'm going to take this on. Um, if you're here to move on the procession, I mean, just make sure that I don't. Could I, could you move in like sight where I can see you? Like come a little bit this way. <clears throat> um, okay, for this part, if you'd like to be at ease, I, um, I encourage you that this is a moment to be at ease before we go. Walking. As the as the hakumele o, mamu o kaho maka ana, mahalo anu i koka ko hui ana, mahalo nu ya uko, ena la la o ke ya ke ia la hui aloha, ina oi he kanaka oi, ina oi he malihini oi a ole no pili kia kame anu i no, na na ho i kako i kapahu hopu. Awamo kako i ke kuleana, ai aloha ku ke kako ke kahi ke kahi. Mahalo anui he alani, no kou leo kono mai au e hele mai, a e kako o i kau hana. It is an honor to come at your request, he alani. Um, I want everybody to to give a silent pai pai ilima in your heart because the effort to remain vigilant and the um, the desire to continue standing after many years of the same kinds of discussions that never seem to end. Never. It never seemed to end. And I remember sitting in class with Helani at the University of Hawaii. We are products of the same time. And yet, we're still having to come out here. Um, so everybody inside your, inside your na'au, um, mahalo, uh, just everybody, please join me, mahalo, mahalo Helani, for bringing us together today, mahalo for the work that you do for our people. This mele, I have a request of everyone that would sing it, if it avails itself to you to utilize or to sing somewhere. Please know the meaning of the words. Please know its significance. This mele no longer necessarily belongs exclusively to me, but belongs to each and every one of us who have the understanding of love of land, love of country, love of people within our heart and our spirit. So in the first verse, when you look at it, it's very simple to think about. Four verses and the chorus. The first verse is the plea. Well, uh, <clears throat> it's also the, um, it's the plight and the predicament. So, first verse says, Kai ko kamoana kai lana nei Hawaii 
na we we a ha lulu ka ho nu a a ha me a na kulu kulu e ka lani ki e ki e ka mai luna a we ke aloha ole a ka malihini. In the first verse, it says. <coughs> The ocean is raging. The earth of Haumea is roaring. It is trembling, is shuddering. And the highest of heavens above shudder and shake. Why? Because foreign desires and interests continue to take precedent over native concerns and our responsibilities and our duty. So that plea, that predicament, that's the first verse. That's where we state our problems. We didn't have to say we have problem. In, in the Mele, it speaks to all of the elements being disturbed and agitated. That's how we wrote that in there. That's how I wrote it in there. The second verse, It is actually, uh, uh, excuse me, um, I got ahead of myself. The first verse is our plight or our predicament. The second verse is the plea. It's a plea for help. It's a call for help. So when you sing, Aohe avale o kopu alikoa o ke ave me ko kamala la valula me ka kuhi heva alumai pu alumai me ko mano kalani po ka imai ana me na kama ka helelani. It's calling all of the islands to come together and unite. All of us may have different thoughts and different opinions, but when it comes to certain things, we need to be able to come together. That's the second verse. So again, the first verse, what is it? It's the plate. It's a predicament. It's the problems. The second verse is a plea. It's a call for help. The third verse says, and now we move in a poki ia e inu wai ava ava e vivo ole a ho okupa a ohe ho pe e ho imai ai a na iwale no ka ko u ka u ko e mau ike ala a we ke aloha ole a kamalihi ni. That's the plan. The third verse is the plan. What we're going to do. The plan says we're going to follow the words of a great chief of our people. Well, not unless you talk to the island of Kauai. The people on Kauai will say otherwise. <laughs> but we nonetheless love the name Kamehameha for the things that he was able to do. It's much like politics today. And for those of you Hawaiians who are watching carefully, even non-Hawaiians, watch very, very carefully. Must be very uh, critically savvy about just how much politics snares and tangles us all today. But let, us not, let it not divide us as a people. Let us continue to converge on the word aloha. So in the third verse, this is the plan. We're going to follow what Kamehameha said. Forward, forward, brothers and sisters, forward. Keep going. There's no turning back now. And we have to do what we need to do. We hope that everybody makes it to the end. But no matter what happens, keep going. Don't give up. His words were meant to strengthen and uplift us. That is the third verse. The fourth verse is the prayer. <clears throat> if there's anything that would be said about... The legacy of why this song is, it, the prayer in the fourth verse is critical for you to understand the, the sentiment in which it was composed. When it sings, 
e lei mau i lei mau ka ko e na ma mo aloha i lei vehi a ali i vehi nani o ku u aina hoe a mau hoe a mau no ka pono si vila a ho i ho i ho i a mai. Okay, right there. That line, you all better know because you heard from the horse itself. I'm not sure whether you think it's the front side of the horse or the back side of the horse, but you heard for the horse itself. I told you today, as the composer, that's the prayer. It says, we shall wear... We will wear and we shall wear always the lay of victory to the descendants, the beloved descendants of this land. The last line reminds us, Aho iho iho mai, ho ia mai, aho iho iho ia mai ke ku okoa until our independence and our freedom is restored. That's a key line. So if you sing it out there, please know that I asked you, please know what you're going to go support before you sing this song. You must be in alignment with it. If not, you have to haku your own song, which I encourage you all to do. Haku your mele. The, again, the four verses. The plight or the predicament, the problems, what's going on. The second verse, the plea, the cry for help. The third verse, the plan, what are we going to do? The fourth verse, the prayer. And we lift it up. Kahea, to Kiaku in the universe. Kahea to the ancestors. Kahea to the greater mana that unites us all to come and lift us up. So I'd like to speak very, um, very critically to our effort to go on this procession today. In support of the work that Heolani has done, I encourage you all, when we walk, we must remain ever dignified. Because, why? This is going past somebody's hale. And when we walk, we, we must make sure that we conduct ourselves in a manner becoming of a people that is a proud and noble people, the rightful people of these islands. It would be very easy to turn it around and make it be anything else. But there's absolute faith. Yeah, sister? You, have, you had absolute faith that the people that would come today would walk in sincere aloha, love of land, love of people. And this song is meant to help reinforce that. Please, um, I'll review the chorus and then we'll sing it together before we holo. When you sing, Stand proud, my Hawaii, my people, my islands. Band of warriors of my land. And, and I sing it this way, it was composed this way. Mama Kakawa O Ku Aina. If you sing it differently, I didn't teach you. Just saying. O Ke Hu Kakahiaka O Na O Ivi O Hawaii Nei. This is a time for a new dawn of our people of these islands. No ku ula hui e ha avi pao ai olamao. For my people, my nation, I shall give my all. So, if that resonates with you, then we sing that today. Please stand as we review this mele before we holo. Because why? It says ku ha heo. It says stand proud. Kalamai for those of you who are in the upper register of the leo. No matter what my journey is, I could never make my voice any higher. So this is, the, this is as good as it gets. You don't like it? Come up here and sing and take my place. You're welcome to. 
I encourage you. Would be nice to have other people lead it. <clears throat> okay, um, I'm going to do something different. Because get plenty Leo Wahine, and I know I'm not Leo Wahine, um, I'm going to start low so that Leo Wahine can sing high. But you're going to be like full voice. I, I don't need you to sound like the, um, the Kamehameha, the Punahou choir. I need you to sound like, yeah, Teras, go, go, go. Because if I could do it, I would do it. But no can. I realize my limitation. Thank you very much. Yeah, sister, we know our limitations. But we know what we can do. Ah. <clears throat> okay. Like I said, I can start, Lord. Kai ko o ka moa na kai lana nei Hawaii i na we we he a halulu ka honu a a haumea na kulu kulu e ka lani ki e ki e ka mai luna a we ke aloha ole a ka malihini o ke oran. He's got to be like an uh, octave above me. Oh, you, you know like how in the, the professional recording where all the all famous people had to go sing <laughs> and they did courtesy invite and told me to go sing with them. He's got to like, think of yourself as Star Kalahiki and Amy Hanayali. You got to get the notes. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Come on, come on, come on. If I could do it, I would. Or shall I just take it back up and sing higher? No, no, I can't sing that high, girl. Okay, Hanaho. Kai ko o kamoa na kai lana nei Hawaii na we we ahalulu kahonu ahumea na kulu kulu e kalani. Ki e ki e kau mai luna awe ke aloha ole akamali ni uha ahe o e ku uha vai i mama kakau wa ku uha ina. Thank 
kuu hawai i mama kaka uwa o kuu aina o ke hu kaka hiaka o na o iwi o hawai i nei no kuu lahu i e hawai pa. Hold up, everybody. Can't listen. I forgot to say, if you're going to sing this song, you cannot sing it. I know like you sing them. If you don't sing with all your heart and all your spirit. Okay, if you cannot do that, I know like you sing them. Just mahalo. Thank you. Go home. Cook rice. Wash rice. You know. Clean up at you. Mahalo. If you come out and you expect that you're going to sing this song, don't be shy about it. Don't be timid about it. Because tell you what, what it takes for somebody like me to know that when I have to sing this song, it kind of conflicts with the presentation, what we're trying to achieve. Yeah? But I'm not concerned about that because why there's greater kuleana than me. It's not about me. Being kanaka is about we. Isn't that not right? Is that not what this flag symbolizes? Okay, so sing and give it all you got. Make this valley echo. If I sing without this microphone, oh, ha, ha, oh, and you can hear me. So I'm going to sing without the microphone. Oh, hold on. Aloha, ilei vehi a ali i vehi nani o kuu aina hoe a mau hoe a mau no kapono sivila a ho i ho i ho i a mai ke ku o ko a. You guys gotta match my voice. So with that said, <clears throat> um, I'm going to turn the time over to Helani Mahalo Nui, to all of you. I think you're ready. Like I said, we're going to walk. Uh, we're going to walk in um, in a manner that's becoming of our people. So carry yourselves with dignity. Lift your head up high. Hold it high, and walk with great pride, but also walk with great humility. We're walking with our flag. Helani. Mahalo Kumu, um, Mahalo Nui for that, for the inspiration. So um, as Kumu said, we are going to um, line up now. So Kailana Moa Eli from the Queen's Court will be leading us, carrying our Queen, Lili Kalani's portrait. And we will head toward the 10th Avenue, take a left on 10th Avenue and take the first right up. Um, it's about 0.8 miles one way and then coming back. So just a heads up, it, it is a little hilly kind of going up, but then just remember we can come down after so it's gonna be easier coming yeah, back. Moving, uh, so we can get a good uh, mm -hmm. camera angle of uh, okay. people. We so this is the park. And it has ribbon every six feet. So we thought everybody had to be going up uh, this. I don't know if we're walking. I think we're walking on the uh, um, Okay, so we're going to line up and then is the Kumu leave already? 
Uh, it might get a little bumpy so, um, as I uh, walk, but I'm going to keep it as smooth as I can. Okay. Let's go look for Sul. This is not a march. This is a procession. So, that, therefore, it's different. Because it's up the hill. The yep, they're going to go up this way. Take a left. Take a left on 10th. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they're going to go to um, David Lassner's house. Yeah, where, where, where? You know, it's it's off 10th Avenue, I think. Bottle one of those. We are. Yeah. One of those. Yeah. It's and off to the right. Oh, the well, I just <laughs> are you shooting for are you shooting for somebody? Oh, KITV, right? We're going live too in five minutes. Oh, okay, good. She said at six I'm live to Facebook. Right? Oh, okay. So we um, remember where it's going to be. Hello everyone. Oh, and I yeah, I was talking to uh, the video guy from KITV and I know oh, Star and I want to mahalo our two medics who are yeah. here with us yeah. today. And and you're watching. We, uh, we don't only want to carry full of water if anybody wants to go away. Um, oh, that's good. Most patients tap, tap on we them. Notice. We noticed. We noticed. KITV yeah, will cover we Hawaiian stuff. We will order Hawaiian assistance or help. Okay. We don't want any stations there. Everybody should cover it. I mean, this is Hawaii. They don't care. They don't care. Owned by Hawaiians. They don't know what's going you on. Heard they only do their own hauling. <laughs> Five, six. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Okay, they're going to line up. And you heard that it's not a march, it's a procession. So you will be ready. Sorry if you have the sun in your eyes right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let everybody pass so you can see them and then I'll spend some time catching up to the front again. If you watched our uh, live coverage of uh, various processions, that's kind of the way I do things. I like to kind of catch the environment so people can see uh, where they are, that's Diamond Head in the back. We're in Palolo Valley, so really nice. Got expensive stuff on the ridge and inexpensive stuff in the valley. It's all determined by your altitude, I think. Here we go. People are lined up on this side. Sorry about the sun, but it caused some nice angles too. On the flag. I want to thank everybody for watching. We are now, if you just joined us, uh, had a little. rally here at the park and we're now going to proceed down the street and up 10th Avenue hopefully to uh, the home of uh, David Lasner who is the president of University of Hawaii all in Kapua Aloha
procession is being led by someone carrying a painting of Queen Liu of Kalani. Catch the uh, procession even and get a shot of everybody who's coming past and then we'll go up ahead to the front again. Small crew staying behind. I'm gonna shoot blind as I hold the camera a little high. Sorry for the bumps. with the bumpiness and walking and doing this. Trying to catch up to the front here.
catching up to the front here. We got turning left up on 10th Avenue. And I'm out on the street, so a little bit careful here. I don't want to get oh, run over. Okay. Guess at the route and try and make it to the left side of 10th Avenue and get a head-on shot. I remember processions going a lot slower when I was young, <laughs> but it's not true at all. from the left side of 10th Avenue. There's an island here, I think. The perfect place to stand. I'm gonna turn this around. some people lagging behind me it's kind of it's encouraging for me it's an old guy <laughs> yeah. Lights up the flags really nice. <laughs> we are going up the Malka side of the street, 10th Avenue. Reasonably sized. Uh, <laughs> I'll be pulling 
up uh, near the end. Go ahead. It's oh. alright. We're live, so people that are watching are kind of being here. Now walking down 10th Avenue on the Malka side of 10th Avenue. You see, uh, you Just joined us recently. We're proceeding in a procession. So I'm going to say proceeding up uh, 10th Avenue. We're all uh, in strict couple aloha, and we'll be going to uh, the residence of David Lasner, the president of the University of Hawaii. Sorry, I need to make a little adjustment here on my monopod. There we go. Live. Near the front of the procession here.
Session up uh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you cheated. I, I was hoping I could cheat. <laughs> Sorry for the uh, bumps. I have a non gimbaled uh, iPhone. A little bumpy, sorry. Uh, front of the uh, 
session. I was just thinking the way back is going to be easier. <laughs> Watch the uh, procession go by one more time. Yep. Kind of in a couple separate groups here. It's, just, it's just hard walk if you're a old office worker type guy. Like me.
try and see where the front is, but I know we're going to David Lassner's house. I don't know where that is. We'll find out. House President.
Undergraduate Hawaiian Studies major at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. And we are here today, we are all here today, to tell you that we stand for the protection of Mauna Kea. And we come here today to tell you that as the leader of the University of Hawaii, the institution who has supported the most and put the most effort into forwarding the agenda of the Institute for Astronomy and the 30 meter telescope. That you must cease and desist. Any action and effort to forward the TMT and denounce the very thing that is destroying our mauna and that will destroy our mauna in any future of Hawaii. entirety of your term as Chancellor and President of UH. You have ignored the explicit non-content of the Hawaiian people to build another 30 meter telescope on our sacred mauna. You are in a unique position of power where you are able to advocate to stop the building of TNT on Mauna Kea. Your decision to either 
discontinue your support or align yourself with TMT is a pivoting point that will shape the future of generations to come. You can either do what many has done before and step on the indigenous people to reach your goal, or you could work with us and help us create a better future for all of our keiki, for all of our children, and their children, and their children's children, and so on. We'll pass the time where all of our names are forgotten. As a people who have been given every right not to trust those in power, but still willing to work with them, for our kiki, for the aina, we ask you, please do the right thing. Show us that your value of knowledge is not, does not precede the value of our people and our sacred land. Mahalo for coming out and greeting us. And I would like to say that it takes a lot for someone, even in an opposing situation, to come out and receive our message. So, Mahalo.
Session of uh, the uh, residents of the president of the University of Hawaii came out to greet the party and uh, listen to everyone, which is pretty good. I'm going to finish this up now. I'm not going to walk back live. <laughs> it was a hard walk up. Okay. from your ahukua'a and the TMP leaks oil, would you be able to 